<sighs> I hate the order of adjectives in English. Why? Because I, like Monica from France, love rules. No, wait, wait, guys. If we follow the rules, it's still fun and it means something. Today I'm going to take off. Guys, rules are good. Rules help control the fun. Hi, I am Miss Carolina and you are watching the IWA YouTube channel. In English, there is a particular order of adjectives before a noun. But some grammarians disagree about the correct order of adjectives, so it can be a little confusing. Hmm? Is Pinocchio a wooden naughty boy? No, he is a naughty wooden boy. Is Rapunzel a long-haired beautiful person? No, she is a beautiful long-haired person. Is the Eiffel Tower an ugly, tall, triangular, old structure? Well, the order of the adjectives is correct, but I think it's a romantic, tall, triangular, old, black, metal structure. Today I will show you the order of adjectives in English with exceptions and examples. And after this lesson, you will feel like a fabulous master ordering adjectives. Let's begin. Tall, proud, beautiful, cold and untouched. There are two basic factors for the order of adjectives. Number one, opinions before facts, and number two, general before specific. Opinions before facts. For example, Ronald from Avatar has beautiful green eyes. Beautiful is my opinion, and green is a fact. General before specific. Ross is wearing black leather pants. Black, there are a lot of things that can be black, but leather, maybe there are less things that can be leather. So, general before specific. Ross is wearing leather pants. <laughs> now let's look at the types of adjectives, especially the opinion adjectives. We have many of them. Adorable, nice, cute, arrogant, lovely, fabulous, weird, pointless, greedy, beautiful, boring. Many, many adjectives to state your opinion. And remember, an opinion is something that you think, but maybe another person doesn't think the same way you do. Just like Joey loved that trifle that Rachel made. So good. <laughs> it tastes like feet. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> now let's look at the fact adjectives. And they follow an order that we can look in this chart and maybe we can memorize with an acronym. OSASCOMP. It sounds strange. I know, it's a little strange, huh? O for opinion, S for size, A for age, S for shape, C for color, O for origin, M for material, and P for purpose. So maybe we can have a lovely, small, new, pointy, blue, Spanish crystal dancing. Shoe, like Cinderella. What about the exceptions? There are three exceptions. Uh, for example, what about adjectives that don't fall into any of these categories? Huh? Like soft, rough, wet, dry, cheap or expensive, although they could be an opinion, but maybe they're not. So some grammarians think that you can put these adjectives after size and before age. So, for example, some lovely, 
small, soft, new shoes. Exception number two. But be careful because if the adjective is a pattern, you should place it after the color, like checkered, plaid, polka dotted, for example. A lovely, small, pointy, blue, checkered shoe. Now that's a strange shoe, huh? What about adjectives of the same type, the same category? How do we position them? Very simple. It doesn't matter the order, just add commas or the conjunction and. For example, a lovely, comma, pretty, and beautiful, small shoe. So we would add a comma and we would add and in between the same type of adjectives. Now for exception three. What about if we want to emphasize a quality over another one? Then that quality always goes first. It doesn't matter what type of adjective it is. For example, let's say that I want to emphasize that the size of the shoes is very small. I would say, those are some lovely uh -uh. Those are some small, lovely, new, pointy shoes. So remember the three exceptions. When there is an adjective of a different category that is not within the acronym OSASCOMP. When there are more adjectives of the same type that you have to add commas or the conjunction AND. And when you want to emphasize a quality over another one, so that quality always goes first. But wait, there is one thing that goes before all of the adjectives, even the opinion one. That is the determiners. Like the number or the possessive, you have to say my, the, one, two, or one hundred before any adjective and then the noun. My little golden sister. My little golden sister. Two angry cats. Two angry cats. So, do you think you can be a master at ordering adjectives? I think you will be great. You can do it! You can! You can! Remember, don't stress. People don't really use more than two or three adjectives together. So mistakes are not that important. People will understand you. Take risks. Don't be afraid of speaking. And after some practice, you will get it because you will feel the language. I promise. Your English is amazing. This is Miss Carolina for the IWA YouTube channel. Don't forget to check my other videos and also my English with us channel with songs and lessons for kids and families. Cheers.